it wasn't just a souped up Mitsubishi Triton after all guys. The new Pajaro is coming out. I'm so excited and it's coming out as a Range Rover X Pajaro guys as a flagship plug-in hybrid SUV to be released in 2027. Where I'm coming from, we love the Pajaro so much for what it could do and for some unknown reason, Mitsubishi decided to axe it. A backbone to who they were, sadly, they discontinued this in 2019 in Japan and in a global market, 2021, after the fourth generation dating back to 1982, they discontinued it. Since then, people like you and I have been yearning for their return and there have been rumors upon rumors of the Pajaro's revival in and out. Let me ask you this, are you one of us? Because I got you good here. Welcome to Autostop and let's get down to what we do best, in this case, the Pajaro. Of course, the Pajaro Sports, this guy, exists in the Asian market, but we want the real Pajaro. The boxy, edgy, get the job done piece of machinery. Yes, excitingly, this is what it was for us and the revival of the project has already kicked off. And with the coming into force of the Renault Mitsubishi Nissan Alliance, it sounded like this reborn Pajaro will share an opinions with the Alliance partner Nissan's next generation YC3 Nissan Patrol. Hell no. The next gen Pajaro will have its own identity in the luxury off-road performance space regardless of the union per report reaching us from Best Car Web from Japan. The goal actually is to create a Japanese Land Rover to show up the glories of the rugged Triton pickup truck and the smooth beautiful Outlander together. So what are the plans for the next generation Pajaro? Let me explain. The first option that came up was to develop it based on a Triton, 6th generation Triton, this guy which has been released is a leather frame pickup truck with excellent off-road performance and certainly provides the performance the Pajaro needs and with the latest clean diesel engine it's certainly a timely fit for the image of the new Pajaro incoming. So the Triton I believe you know all of this it has been doing so well constituting about 20% of Mitsubishi's entire sales okay so what is more this Triton's ladder frame is designed to be compatible with electrification. However, the development team on this Pajaro project has actually concluded that the image of the next-gen Pajaro needs to first be off-road capable, paying homage to its parentage, but realize that the right comfort would be compromised, not reaching what they envisioned smooth luxury SUV for the Pajaro. So what I'm saying is that the next generation Pajaro is actually aiming to be a luxury SUV that will be able to run on the road like a luxury car and also have world-class off-road performance. Without either of these, it cannot be called a new Pajaro, says the Pajaro development team. So this Pajaro that we have known and fallen in love with, if you keep this Pajaro in a car like monocoque chassis, it is the way to go to allow it to adapt Mitsubishi's latest plug-in hybrid technology rather than to move it to the Triton or the Y63 Patrol's leather frame which will take away some of the on-drive features, okay? I think there is a car like that somewhere, right? Yeah, yes, it is the Range Rover which once held the title of Rolls Royce of the Desert. The next generation Pajaro aims to be a Japanese Range Rover. So they changed course and decided to abandon the Triton YC3 base model and instead base the development of the new Pajaro on the platform of the new Outlander plug-in hybrid. The body size is expected to be around 4,900 millimeters in length, 1,000 900 millimeters in width and 1850 millimeters in height which makes it slightly larger than the outlander plug-in hybrid that we know and then falls within the range of the pajaro size now will it have three row seats that we do not know yet but we'll certainly update in time so kindly subscribe to be notified when we do now let's get down to what is going to be it now the current fourth generation outlander plug-in hybrid this guy we have also fallen in love with for the good work that is done in the market is a new model that was released in 2021 this platform 
is the CMFCD platform. This jointly developed by Renault, Nissan, Mitsubishi Alliance, and is the Alliance main platform used for the Nissan's X-Trail, Qashqai, Renault Megane, and the Collios. I'm sure we know of, of all of that. The new Pajaro project is adapting this current platform, is undergoing rigorous modification, and will no doubt continue to be used in the next model. But further improvements will be made to achieve even greater performance but it doesn't end there. So take a look at this. I'm sure you might have come across it online. You might have come across it somewhere. The knowledge that Nissan and um, Renault have from the CMF EV platform, that is a platform dedicated to BEV currently under development with the aim of commercialization around 2025 will also be incorporated. Although the name of the CMFCD will be the same, it will evolve into a platform of different dimensions for the next generation upscaled Pajaro guys. So the CMF platform, this as illustrated here, is going to be somehow amalgamated with the CMF CD platform to come up with an upscaled Pajaro platform in the Mitsubishi lineup. Okay. So if the next generation Pajaro does not move away from that, it is certain that the power units will be a plug-in hybrid power unit. At this point, details of the engine are unknown yet, but it is highly unlikely that a new multi-cylinder engine will be developed entirely for this project. Instead, it is possible that an improved version of the current Outlander plug-in hybrid inline 4 or a small displacement supercharged engine will be used from a completely new perspective. And talk of perspective. Sources say that an upgraded version of the Outlander's 2.4 liter plug-in hybrid powertrain is coming that include at least two electric motors driving the rear axle. So this is by far what we know in terms of the powertrain, powertrain room. But then when you talk about rear axles, that brings to mind Mitsubishi's unique four-wheel drive system, the SAWC, which makes this car or which has made this car one of off-road capable uh, vehicles and this 4x4 system will also continue to evolve pursue strength high stability and superior driving performance both on road and off-road which they are targeting and a total output of more than 280 kilowatts is anticipated while a large battery may be provided to at least give you a pure electric driving range of 100 kilometers in this case and I am sure a lot of enhancements are going to go into this to improve its off-road ability. And the 2027 Pajaro should feature a locking e-differential and advanced torque vectory. So speaking of upscale and luxury, one way of bringing that to bear as done in the likes of the Range Rover and Infinity Kill series is the inside of the vehicle. So a big increase in wheelbase and all-round dimension compared to the Outlander should see the Pajaro offer excellent carbon space as the competitors do and a possible comfortable third row seats in this case. And this large SUV is also said to come with a far more luxurious and high-tech interior as we've seen on even their standard Pajaros from way back with a leather wrap dashboard, large infotainment system, and fully digitized instrument cluster. The point where most of you are still wondering is how it will look like. When it comes to its exterior design, if you thought this current Outlander was striking enough, the next generation Pajaro is expected to be an even more futuristic take on the bold stride design language. And these are various artistic impressions of how it can look like when it arrives you see that you see that you see that yes but then this one from best car web is more closer taking into consideration the range rover x nature of what they intend to achieve we are by no means saying that this is what is going to happen but these are personal artistic impressions which we have used here to aid our understanding of what is coming if you look at best car web we expect a pair of slim horizontal LED daytime running lamps to be combined with an updated version of the brand's prominent dynamic shield that will be accompanied by lots of geometric shapes here and there as we've seen on the Pajaro of old. And that will ensure that the Pajaro is impressive, 
but then we are very much certain that it is never going to be a subtle vehicle guys so this is basically what we've got for you for the 2027 pajaro we're going to keep updating you so the next generation pajaro project is underway aiming for an official debut in 2027 the mitsubishi traditional big name makes a long awaited comeback and guys we are going to continue to update you over and over until we finally realize our love and our dream so if you haven't subscribed please do and if you haven't put on your notification bell kindly do so that as soon as we do you can be among the first thank you so much have a good great day until me same time again bye bye